Today on Unbox Daily, we are taking a look at Barbie Crimp and Color Deluxe Styling Head for ages three and up. We found this at Walmart for $29.99. And she looks a lot like Sophie. Like me? I am totally one of a kind. You're right, Sophie. There is nobody else in the world quite like you. However, there is definitely a resemblance. At least, I think so. There are 31 pieces included in this set. We can already see some crimping tools, some nails, we have some jewelry over here, and bangs. Yep, she has some clip-in bangs. And she has a pair of sunglasses to wear and share. On the side of the box, we can see different ways to style her hair. Then on the back, there is a list of all items included. And it says that we can crimp fun prints into Barbie's hair extension. Just crimp, hold for 10 seconds, and release. We can change the color of her eye makeup and her nails and pretty much just have fun giving Barbie a makeover. Let's open it up for a closer look. Out of the box, we have the Barbie head, the crimper, four plates that fit inside the crimper, a hair extension, toy sunglasses, clip-in bangs, and of course, I had to try these on. <laughs> yep, there is a little comb in the back that you can just slide onto the hair. However, it did not look very flattering on me. I'm sure it is gonna look much better on the doll. There is also a brush, a color change applicator, two nail wheels, sticker sheets, barrettes, a ring and charms. The charms fit onto the ring so you can customize it. One day you may feel like wearing purple diamonds and on the next, only turquoise will do. And you can add charms to the barrettes too. Finally, we have four elastic bands for styling her hair. And I don't want to just keep calling her her, so we're going to call her Sophie. Sophie's arms can move. We can rotate them to the front so she has the perfect pose for a pedicure. And that is as far as they go. The head does have a full range of motion. So she can look up, she can look down, she can look all around. Oh, great. Now I'm dizzy. Oh no, I think by naming her Sophie, she is starting to take on some of Sophie's personality. When are you gonna start on my nails? And while you're at it, I could so use a cocoa latte. All right, well you heard the lady. Let's get started on those nails. When we place the applicator brush in warm water, her nails are supposed to change color when we brush it on. I'm not seeing the change. We should see a change in color when we apply it to the nails. Hmm, maybe my water needs to be a little warmer. Let's try again. I'm just gonna hold it this time and see if we can see a big change in color. I think there is a little bit of a difference. Let's try icy water on the next finger. We are applying icy water now. Oh, well that's definitely a difference. So cold water makes it a brighter pink and warm water keeps it more of a softer pink. Use icy water above her eyes. Hot and cold water are also used to change her eyeshadow. So I'm using warm water now and it kind of makes the makeup a little more natural. Here you can really see the difference. This is the warm water side and this is the cold water. I guess we should make her match. Just using more warm water, yay! And the color seems to hold very well until you decide to change it. We can also use the nail wheel to change her nails. But now it is so time to style this hair. Let's give her a little scarf so we don't get her clothes dirty. 
You know, I kind of like the way that looks. Then we can remove her glasses to see what we're working with. Her hair is cut into layers and she has a nice little wave to it. Let's brush it out. I like to add a little water to the doll hair when I'm brushing it. And it just helps to loosen any factory hairspray. Oops, sorry about that. I have seen these styling head toys in stores forever. And this is my first time ever buying one. It is surprisingly a lot of fun. I can definitely see the appeal. And I like my doll's hair to look kind of natural, like they've just been running through the wind and it's all windblown. Oh, that is so pretty. I love it. We can add the hair extension to give her a little color. Let's try out the crimper. It says place on the hair, crimp, hold for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and then release. Yeah, I can see it. It's right there. This is great for practicing hairstyles. We can do that side ponytail thing. Simple. Let's try to braid it. I gave her a loose French braid going all the way around. I was totally thinking of Katniss Everdeen. I could probably just use a little more practice. Let's try something different. I'm gonna pull her hair up high on the top of her head. Use the brush to just kinda smooth it out a little. Use one of the rubber bands. We're gonna make a high bun. Let's see if we can use those bangs. I think I like it better without the bangs. Let's try glasses. <laughs> She's wearing my glasses. All she needs now is a Harry Potter book and this is so perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna need those back now. No matter how you choose to do her hair, I'm sure it will look absolutely fabulous. Because seriously, Everything looks fabulous on me. Yeah, her arm doesn't naturally move that way. I kind of removed it so I could have a wider range of motion. Always get a parent's permission before altering your dolls. And we'll see you tomorrow for another Unbox Daily. And that's our collection for now.